In this video, we're going to talk about how to do some basic operations in R. So first of all, what's a variable here? So a variable is a letter, like x, and we assign that letter some value. So if we wanted to make x equal to the number 5, there's two ways to do it. You can either just say x equals 5, or you can say x is, and then assign. That's basically like the less than symbol, and then the dash symbol, sort of like the minus sign. So either one of these, setting this equal to 5, either one of these will do the same thing. It's going to make x equal to 5. So just to see what happens if we highlight this and click run, let's see, it ran it, and now if we look on the top right, x is 5. And just to show you, let's say we did this command, y, and the way to pronounce this is assign, right? So this is pronounced x equals 5, this is y assigned to 5. So let's do that, let's run that. Ah, y is now assigned to 5. And now the cool thing here is we could now, let's say we created a new variable z, um, and we wanted that to, let's say, be x times y. So we could do x and then times. So here, if you do the star symbol, it's sort of like shift and 8 on most keyboards. That's like the star. That's, that's multiplication. So if z is x times y, so it's now, look on the top right over here, it's telling us z is 25, because it's 5 times 5. And again, if you weren't sure, or if you weren't looking here on the top right, you could just literally press just z, and then run that, and you can look on the console, it's going to say what z is, 25. Now, what if, on the other hand, you didn't want to do x times 5, but you wanted to do x plus 5, right? So uh, x plus y, instead of x times y. So you could just say now z is x plus y. Now notice, z is already assigned. So what will happen if I assign z uh, again to x plus y? If I run that, it's just going to overwrite it. So x and y were already defined, but now z used to be 25. Now it's overwritten to be x plus y, which is 10. And, and again, you could overwrite it yet another time if you make it x divided by y. So x divided by y, let's see what happens when you run that. It's 1, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. So you can overwrite a variable. So even here with x, you could say x, I'm going to assign that to something else. Um, let's say you want to assign x to what's called a vector. So let's get into what a vector is now. So instead of just one number, let's say you had something that had to be represented with multiple numbers. Like, for example, a uh, let's say for different days of the week, you, you knew that a doctor saw, let's say, five patients on Monday, six patients on Tuesday, four on Wednesday, 10 on Thursday, and two on Friday. If, if you want X to be this sort of pair, the, this not pair, but this sort of uh, set of five different values, one for each day of the week, the way to do that is to basically do this. You can either put assign or equals and then lowercase c. This sort of stands for concatenate, which means to join together these five different numbers. So if you assign that, now you can see x has all of these values assigned to it in different positions. And the cool thing there is, let's say now you have another doctor. Dr. X has, has seen these many patients, and another doctor, Dr. Y, let's say just for time's sake, has also seen those same patient, those same number of patients. And again, you could change these if you wanted. But let's assign that as well. Let's run that. So now x and y are both vectors. So let's say you wanted to see how many does Dr. X and Y see in total. Uh, so you wanted to add X and Y. So whenever you add two vectors, what you do is it's called pairwise adding. So you take the pairs, meaning just the Mondays, for example, and it's going to add the 5 and the 5 to say that on Monday, these two doctors in total saw 10 patients. And then for Tuesday, it would be 6 plus 6, which is 12. So if we did that, we can either do Z equals X plus Y, or again, any letter, and then see what Z is, or Honestly, we could even just directly do x plus y. You don't even need to assign it to something if you don't need to store that value somewhere, that sum. You could just run x plus y and look at the console here on the bottom. It's giving us 10, 12, 8, right? So it's telling us exactly what those pairwise sums are. You know, And again, same with you can 
subtract or or anything like that. If you multiply here, it's just going to multiply 5 times 5, 6 times 6, and so on. That's basically how to do vector operations in R. Now, I just gave this as an example for days of the week. There's nothing special about five numbers or days of the week or anything. This could be anything. You could just say, you know, P equals concatenate 4, 9, 2. This could mean anything. Bam, and P is assigned to those three. And then in order to add vectors meaningfully, they sort of do have to have the same dimensions. And again, notice I can use either equal or the assigned thing, same thing. So let's say Q is equal to now concatenate 0, 1, 2. And I run that as well. And then I just want to, let's say, add both of them, P plus Q. Run that. And it's going to give me what those two add up to, right? 4 plus 0 is 4. 9 plus 1 is 10. And 2 plus 2 is 4. So again, that's an easy way to add uh, to. Uh, and again, you could do any operation with that as well. The final thing I'll say here is that often in the real world, data isn't necessarily just a number. Data might be a word. Let's say you're asking people in a survey what their favorite color is or what political party they voted for. And if you don't want to represent that with a number, if you want to literally have the word purple in there, you can do that as well. You could say x equals purple, but here's the caveat. If you do x equals purple, that's not a valid command. R won't recognize that because uh, purple doesn't really inherently mean anything to R the way 5 does. But what you can do is you can use quotes. So if you put it in quotes, x equals, or again, this could be assign instead of equals, same thing. Uh, purple, let's see what happens. Well, first of all, because x was already defined, it's going to overwrite it from whatever it was to purple. But now, if I just ask, hey, what's x? And I just run just the code x. Oh, it's telling me x is purple. That's the output that it's giving me. So that is how you can do some basic operations in R.